13-year-old Gregory Langale is enjoying his spring break. He's spending it amongst old and new friends while learning old skills. I've learned how to attend a kuluk. What is a kuluk? Um, it's a stone lamp that's uh, very traditional, and it was our source of heat in the igloos. Is there anything else you're looking forward to learning? The um, I'm really excited to build uh, Quincy's or Igloos. Langale is one of 29 Inuit kids from the Ottawa region who have the opportunity to participate in this cultural camp, learning with their elders. It's the third year that the Ottawa Inuit Children's Centre has organized a five-day event. It's a busy but fun time, says the youth manager, Linda Booth. There's a good mix of activities, like learning the technique of sewing with sealskin, drum dancing, and speaking the language. We have a couple kids who their first language is Inutitu, and for them, they haven't been speaking it and all this week. Their first um, in talking with the elders is speaking in Inutitu. So again, for me, that's really incredible that our language is surviving and continuing, and it's opportunities like this that the kids have to hear the language if they're not speaking it already. Elder Saituki Jomi has come to share his wisdom every year at this camp. He says what the kids learn here stays with them. Those of us who have grown up out, on, uh, out camping and hunting, we know what we're trying to convey, and uh, for a child that has never grown up up north and they learn something new from their culture, uh, you see it in their eyes um, being Inuk. We teach them who they are. For these young girls, that's what keeps them coming back. It's fun and we get to meet new people. Last year I had a blast with my friends and learning new things about our culture. Other activities throughout the week include throat singing, ice fishing, a talent show, and igloo building. And at Francis A. Buchanan National News, Ottawa.